Hello, and welcome to the 5-Minute Open Daylight Tutorial, Episode 1. This is a series of tutorials intended to progressively build in walking you through Open Daylight, all in 5 minutes or less, per, per tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on the placement, naming, and processing of config subsystem files. This is done because we're going to walk subsequently through other aspects of the config subsystem, and this makes it possible to understand those. We're beginning here in the integration project. This is the project from where Wint's Open Daylight builds its release editions. It provides a rich example of these sorts of things. We're going to start by looking at the base edition in distributions base. I've already built a distribution there. And we can look there and see that there is a subdirectory of that distribution configuration. If we drill further into the configuration subdirectory, we will notice that there is a subdirectory initial. If we drill even further down into initial, we see that there are a series of file names, starting from 00, zero netty.xml and going to 99.confconnector.xml. This layout should look very familiar to those of you who are used to many places that use this config D directory style configuration. Such examples would include Etsy RCD directories, would also include Apache configs and many others. For those of you who are less familiar, these, process, these files will be processed in order based upon the prefix, the two digit prefix number, with 00 being processed before 01, being processed before 02, being processed before 03, etc. This way you can allow different applications to have different independent initial configurations that can be installed in the distribution separately and independently from one another. It also allows you to have certain things configured, for example, the MD Sal, prior to others, for example, the OpenFlow plugin. We'll be talking more about 42-OpenFlow plugin in subsequent episodes. So to see how some of these may differ by distribution, we can look at the service provider distribution. If we drill down into its configuration directory initial, we can see that it has quite a few more configurations. We have configurations for TCP MD5, for programming, for BGP, for PSEP, etc. This basically allows you to build up with separate configuration files the aspect of the configuration that you need in the controller. This concludes the first episode of the five minute open daily tutorials. I hope that it's proven helpful and look forward to talking about other aspects of the system with you in subsequent tutorials. Thank you.